Aaron Reeves, one of our meteorologists. Aaron, Aaron Reeves, loves we're gonna the have heat, a so we're gonna have word. a good talk. How dare he? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if you're ready for a cool down tomorrow, Monday, we've got some cooler temperatures headed our way. Here over the last week, we have had six of the last seven days in the triple digits. Check out the last seven days highs. We have been dealing with this ridge of high pressure, not only across our area, but across the region as temperatures have been just brutally hot. And by the time you factor in the moisture, it has been downright steamy. Out the door for this afternoon, a large portion of the region is going to be under excessive heat warnings and heat advisories until 8 p.m. And across our area, we do have heat advisories, but at least not excessive heat warnings. But hey, this is the last day of our triple digit stretch. We see relief come tomorrow as that cool front is going to dive on south and bring us relief. Temperatures are going to be a whole lot better tomorrow, and I'll show you that here in a second. Out the door right now, we do have some high clouds. Yesterday, we saw some clouds across the area for the first time in what felt like forever, and even a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. And we'll have that potential once again today. Out the door, we're sitting in the 80s, and we've got some 70s across the area as well, but not quite as many. Now that we're warming up, we've got low 80s out the door with that north wind and here over the next several hours we won't have a lot of wind either and that's going to cause us some issues so we are under an ozone alert for the day today as lots of intense sunshine very little wind will give us some issues especially later in the day today so if you're someone that that might affect be sure to take that into account we'll have about a 10 percent chance for a shower or thunderstorm through about 9 a.m and then that's really going to decrease until this afternoon when we get some daytime heating and it'll be possible that very much similar to yesterday we'll have a couple of thunderstorms pop up into the afternoon so we'll be keeping an eye on the potential for that but regardless temperatures are going to be in the triple digits to the south of the metro now if a thunderstorm pops up right on top of the metro that's really really going to decrease our temperatures and we may not be able to rebound so give or take a couple of degrees on this mid to upper 90s to the north with that northeast wind we will have a better potential overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning for more widespread thunderstorm activity, but it's still not looking great. Better than nothing, but really no significant widespread rain chances here throughout your weekend, about a 10 to 20% chance, and then that'll drop off as we head into your Sunday afternoon. But check out Sunday's high temperatures. We are going to be a little warmer to the south, but mid to upper 80s to the north of the metro, low 90s, and then for your Monday, that's when we really begin to see the change. Widespread 80s across the area. We may reach the 90s, down in McAllister and Wilburton, but northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we're going to stick with the north wind until we warm back up, which will really, really help our feels like temperatures out the door as well. How long does this cool down stick around? Well, we do start to warm back up midweek as we head into your Labor Day weekend. It looks like temperatures will get back towards those mid to upper 90s, maybe even triple digits as we head into your Labor Day weekend. That's a look at your forecast. We'll have more weather coming up here.